Okay, hear me out. You either like Siri or you don't like Siri, right? But here's the thing. iOS 15 adds some really cool features to Siri, which I think will interest you even if you don't like Siri. What are those features? So let's start with the first one. The voice input request, that is what you ask to Siri so that the iPhone and the iOS can infer what you're asking, process it, and then send it to Siri to get a response, that is now happening all in your iPhone with iOS 15. That means with the power of the speech recognition that is powered by Apple's neural engine, it's now able to process your Siri request right in your iPhone without going to iCloud. That is great. What does it offer anyway? Well, first one, it is going to be really fast with the iOS 15 your response back from Siri is going to be much quicker than, let's say, in previous versions of the iOS. Second, because it's all getting processed in your phone, iOS 15 introduces the ability to use Siri when you're offline. That is, when you're not connected to the internet. And let's say you are off the grid with Wi-Fi turned off, no cellular data connection, and you try to do something like turn on Bluetooth or turn on flashlight. That's not going to work. With iOS 15 though, with the power of the offline support, those things now work. That's great, right? So what else works with this offline support? Let's have a look. What's the weather today? To do that, you'll need to turn off airplane mode. Open settings. Open agenda. Turn on Bluetooth. Okay. Bluetooth is now on. Turn off Bluetooth. Okay, Bluetooth is now off. Turn on flashlight. Okay, I've turned torch on. Set an alarm for 10 p.m. tonight. I've turned on your 10 p.m. alarm. Cancel that alarm. I've turned off your 10 p.m. alarm. Set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. Play music. To do that, you'll need to turn off airplane mode. What's 20% of $1,000? To do that, you'll need to turn off airplane mode. Awesome. That was the offline support. Next, let's look at some of the new commands available in Siri. The first command is you can now send a screenshot to someone. So instead of you know, pressing the buttons, taking the screenshot, and then sharing with others. Well, that's kind of like already a tedious step. Now you can just ask Siri to take a screenshot and send it to your friend. Send the screenshot to John Appleseed. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, it's sent. Okay, so that was the only new command in iOS 15. But there is very interesting addition to iOS 15. Now with iOS 15, Siri can understand Tamil language and other Indian languages like Telugu, Kannada, Marathi, Punjabi. So you can mix and match different languages, especially with English and Tamil, for example. Say when you want to play a song from Spotify, from a Tamil movie, you can do that now and Siri will recognize those mixed languages and it's awesome. It actually works really well. And not only that, it can also respond to you for a certain request like, for example, what's the weather in Tamil or if it's going to rain tomorrow or how far is a place from here? Those things will work as well. So how good is Siri in inferring this mixed language? Let's have a look. There's one setting you want to change if you want to use it, which is if you go to your settings and then tap on Siri, the language should be set to English India. And once you have set this language to English India, you can do all these queries in your iPhone. Here's a command to check weather in Tamil. Indriya Vanilai Enna. It's currently cloudy and 66 degrees. And here's a command to check if it is going to rain today. Indriku Malai Peyuma. It doesn't look like it's going to rain today. And here's a command for finding directions to Kenan Beach. Ingirindu Kenan Beach Kuvali Kandubadi. Here's Kenan Beach. And here's a command 
that's going to ask how far is Kenan Beach. Inge rendu Kenan Beach evlavu dooram. It looks like Kenan Beach is about 222 miles away by car. And this command is going to ask what movies are running nearby. Arigil enna padam odugindrathu. Here are some films playing at cinemas, but they're quite far from you. And now we'll see if it plays some Tamil songs from Spotify. Play with Nathandi Varuvaya. Play Bahubali ku or Kattappa from Sivakumar in Sabadam. This is awesome. I listen to a lot of Tamil songs and now I can just tell Siri to play the right song from the right movie and it works all the time. Next up is sharing items on screen. Let's say you're browsing your photos and you find this beautiful photo and you want to share it with your wife. Well, obviously you can go and tap on the share button and share it. However, now with iOS 15 and Siri, you can just invoke Siri and just tell her to share this with my wife or share this with your friend. And that's it. It will take the item on screen, in this case the photo and share it. Let's look at how that works with the photos app and other apps as well. Share this to John Appleseed. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, it's sent. So what happened here was Siri took a link to this post in Instagram and sent that link to your contact. Send this photo to John Appleseed. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, it's sent. And here again you can see Siri took the photo and then send it as a message to your contact. Send this to John Appleseed. I can only send screenshots from here. Ready to send it? Yes. Done. By the way, you can always ask me to send a screenshot to someone. So what happened here was very simple. Siri was not able to send this Twitter link as a link so that they can open in Twitter app rather it was able to take a screenshot and send that screenshot over and that brings up a good point in cases where siri is not able to share the item on screen it's going to take a screenshot and send that screenshot to your contact this is a good one finally finally we are able to now maintain context with siri that means you can have continuous conversations going on so let's look at an example is bellevue square open Bellevue Square on Bellevue Square Bellevue is open today from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. How far is it? Bellevue Square is about 14 miles away by car. Show me directions. Getting directions to Bellevue Square. Oh, there's one more thing I missed on the Siri updates. You can ask Siri to control your HomeKit device at a specific time. Here is how it works. Turn on entry at 6 p.m. today. I've set the entry to turn on at 6 p.m. today. So once that is set up, you can view that automation. There is one catch though. You can't set recurring automations. So for example, turn on entry at 6 p.m. every day. Sorry, I can't schedule recurring automations. You can set that up in the home app. Hmm. That's a bummer, but hopefully Apple will add the support soon. So that was a quick tour of what's new with iOS 15 and Siri. Well, of course Siri is not perfect, but I think these updates make it even worthwhile to work with Siri and do the things that you want to do with your iPhone. Let me know what you think about these updates in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, do give a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more tips and tricks, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye.